what's up guys, Celi Knight here with Eric Lance and I wanna show some um, techniques today that are kind of rule breaking techniques you learn in Jiu Jitsu. It's very important that you first establish a good position before you start attacking. Uh, and these submissions really totally break that rule because we're gonna be doing some submissions uh, and submission setups from inside someone's guard. So if Eric has me in the guard here like, now typically what I wanna look to do is I wanna get past his legs and get a top dominant position on him like side control or mount. But um, there are opportunities sometimes because of where I wind up and because of openings that he leaves me where I can't go for submissions. So the first one that I wanna to look to do is the Ezekiel choke. And the place that this might come from is like if he's hugging me down like this right here and he's keeping me uh, pulled down and he's got my posture broken, then sometimes um, this opportunity arises because I'm having trouble getting my, my limbs back in, I'm having trouble getting back free again. So what I wanna look to do from here is I'm gonna reach from underneath here like this, I'm gonna drive up and kind of tripod out on him here. So this is, uh, it gets kind of frustrating for him too. So from this position, now that I've got this deep underneath him like this, I wanna take my other arm here. Now we can do it a couple different ways. Either I can look to grab my sleeve first and bring it in, but the way that I typically like to do it better is keeping my head, pushing his head away, reaching my hand inside like this first, and then coming through and trying to grab my sleeve. Now to go to finish this here, I wanna punch both of these across this direction and then I wanna drive down that way. Now, if I can get my hands inside, my fingers inside, then I like to go three fingers typically, depending on your gi size. So I get here like this, my three fingers inside the gi, and then pull this all across. Now, the, the bad thing about this is that his response to me trying to choke him from inside the guard, typically is he's gonna to try to push me away. And when he pushes me away, it actually just tightens the choke even worse. So that's why this is a really good option from inside the guard. It's if the opportunity presents itself. So it's not something that you're gonna use as like a primary attack from when you're inside the guard. Now, um, something else that we can like look for too, and this is actually a good one that I can use to open his guard, but it can also kind of turn into a submission. So what we're gonna do instead here, um, I'm gonna have his collars like this here, and I wanna go fingers inside on one side of his lapel. Once we go to do that, I'm gonna get myself standing, I'm gonna hop or, or step up to my feet. So once I get here, this way, and I keep my base really nice and strong, and then I'm gonna pull this across. Now, if I just use this here, sometimes he'll open his guard for me and we can start passing. But if he's very stubborn, or if I'm very stubborn, I can bring this over, and then I'm also gonna take this hand here and I'm gonna cover it up, because once he, what he wants to do to defend is he wants to grab my hand here and pull it away. Right, But if I cover it up, you can't really grab a hold of it very well, and I can drive in here like this, and sometimes that will actually get people to tap off of that. And you might be saying like, yeah, I wouldn't tap to that, that'd, that'd be really stupid to tap to it, but what's your other option? Your option is to open your guard to use that to push the guy away, in which case now I have a passing opportunity. So this next one here um, is, is a pretty sneaky one. It's really weird, and it looks really dangerous. It probably is really dangerous, but um, it's, a, it's cool, so I'm gonna show it. So from here, I'm gonna hold his, his uh, lapel down here by the skirt, and I wanna sit back. So I'm sitting here. So from here, if he's trying to like break my posture and keep pulling me back forward to make me lose my balance like that, then I'll, I'm gonna collect that data that he already wants to do that. But whenever he starts to pull me in this time here, I'm gonna punch this one up like this here, and I wanna keep my posture broken down. So now from here, what I've done is I've taken this skirt part here, and I fell forward and I put it right here against him. I'm gonna reach under his neck and I'm gonna grab a hold of that skirt that I just passed to that hand. Now I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna kind of bait him. What I'm gonna do to bait him here is I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna start reaching back to try to open his guard. Sometimes this guy might think about attacking this arm lock on this side. And if he does, he's gonna get up on his side, he's gonna start trying to attack this arm lock here. Yeah, look, if he's trying to attack this arm off you, I'm going to roll this way. And as I come around, it gets very, very tight, very fast. So one more time. <laughs> so again, on this one here, I'm, I've already kind of collected his skirt here. And I've seen that his, his intention is to kind of, when I sit back, is to kind of pull me back in. As I go to do that here, I really sell it that he pulled me back in. I reach underneath, I pass this skirt to this side hand. Right? And then I'm gonna reach back and start pushing. He's gonna go to attack my arm. As he goes to attack my arm, we're gonna hop out to this side over here, pull and, and pull and come on top. So I'm gonna let go so he doesn't, his head doesn't pop off, but I'm gonna keep pulling and coming over to this direction here. 
and it's a really horrible, horrible choke, and it makes him think about 90% of the way that he's actually attacking me, that he's gonna sweep me, he's gonna attack my arm for the arm lock or triangle or whatever, so it really backfires. Here, whenever I'm starting to get my posture and get to like a standing uh, um, opportunity to pass, then um, this is something else that can, can happen. Sometimes I'll go to stand up here, I stand one, two, and he keeps his guard closed around me like this. So in doing so now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a side and I'm gonna actually cut here and make a gap of space off this side. This is if he's really intent on hanging on. And so by doing this, I open this wedge and I'm gonna use that to direction to, as the direction that I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start walking over and across so that whenever he rolls with me like that, his guard will break on the way and he leaves me the opportunity possibly for a foot lock. <laughs> the way I'm gonna to look to do the foot lock here is because this was in my hip wedge whenever we went over, I'm gonna slide, reach through this way. If I have the collar, I can grab the collar, but if not, I can just keep my hand against my chest. I like to pin the second leg here, reach up, and then I'm gonna use this leg turning in to help with the pressure of the foot lock. I wanna be nice and high up on the ankle and you get kind of this little baby miniature Boston Crab style foot lock right there. Right, so these are about four different options of things that you can do to actually attack the person while you're inside their guard. Again, I wouldn't use these as a primary go-to and start thinking anytime that I'm in closed guard, how can I attack this guy? These are just moments of opportunity that are created based on the energy or a mistake that he's making that are gonna allow you to do these things. It's much better for you to get a, a good, solid, dominant position on top or take the back or whatever, instead of taking the risk of exposing yourself sometimes by being too aggressive inside somebody's guard. So um, passing is great, but if you can't pass and he's giving you certain uh, kind of reactions, then some of these submissions are things that can actually work from inside the guard. Whenever you understand the rules well enough, you can break the rules. So I appreciate you guys watching. So make sure to, to like, subscribe, share, do all that stuff, turn on notifications, and uh, keep watching this Night Jiu Jitsu channel. Thanks.